Hey, are you looking to build your business credit like a boss? Well, you're in luck. I've created this awesome ebook where you can learn how to build business credit and get over $500,000 in business funding. It's on sale right now, $40 on sale. Original price is $125. I am giving you guys this at a highly discounted price, but only 100 copies will be sold at this price. Click the link in the description below or in the pinned comments. You are already a boss, so why not get that business credit like a boss? Hey everyone, it's your girl designer Soapbox, and today I am back with another video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about if you should pay for a credit repair company. Yes, I have tons of videos on how to build credit, how to repair credit. However, a lot of you want to know, you know, should I pay a credit repair company to repair my credit, even though, you know, I watch some of your videos. So let's just talk about it. Let's dive into this conversation. It has been a common question on the YouTube channel. And I want to give you guys my opinion, my thoughts, and, you know, and let's just start the conversation down in the comment section. So if you're interested, stay tuned to learn what I have to say. So should you pay for a credit repair company to help repair your credit? So in my humble opinion, I don't think you should pay for a credit repair company, you know, just yet. Now I'm going to give you some reasons on why you should not pay for a credit repair company. Also, this is a disclaimer. I am not a credit repair company. I am not a credit repair specialist. Everything that I share on my YouTube channel has been stuff that I have researched or tried on my own with my personal credit. And if I feel it like it's beneficial to you, I will share it. So there are a lot of things that I don't share on my YouTube channel because I'm not a credit repair specialist. However, this is my YouTube channel, so I want to provide you guys information on how I use to repair my credit and what I'm using to build my credit or if there's products or information that I find very useful for you I'm going to bring it to you guys so that's just a disclaimer so let's just get right to the video so number one on why I would not want to pay for a credit repair is is the cost let's just be honest the cost to repair your credit is really expensive some of these credit repair companies charge an arm and a leg now if you have the money to repair your credit and you can afford a credit repair company then granted but most individuals cannot afford it it's really expensive it starts from around 500 and it goes up to ten thousands of dollars so I definitely would not recommend paying for a repair company when, you know, it's very costly. There are tons of resources out there for free that you can learn to repair your credit. A number one resource is YouTube. You're watching this channel about credit, right? So it's the same thing. You're watching me teach you about credit because I've learned about credit as well. Now you may not find a lot of information or, you know, you still may be, you know, sometimes confused or just you're you know there's too much information overwhelm so you you prefer a professional to repair your credit now if you're someone that cannot you know retrieve information and you know don't want to do it yourself then go by all means spend the money to repair your credit but later on in this video I will show you how paying someone to repair your credit would not be beneficial for you in the long run learning about credit first is essential for every adult in america and so forth because i know a lot of you guys from canada or africa or you know other countries are watching me as well so let's just dive right into number two so another reason is personal information in 2021 we are at a high 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 percentage of identity theft and amongst other things we do not want to give out our personal information try to stay away giving out personal information to a complete stranger so this is why i wouldn't do credit repair your personal information may be shared amongst each other now 
your personal information such as your full name, your address, your social security, and some of your financial information. This can be given to a stranger and you never know, you know, if the stranger would do anything to, you know, steal your identity. It's just you want to be very protective of what you have because credit and identity is how we get through society today in America. So you want to be very, very careful on sharing your personal information. Let's be honest. We use our credit, our financial information, our personal information with everyday life. So just imagine if your identity was stolen, that could really put a hinder in your everyday life duties. So this is another reason why I will not pay for credit repair. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you may have seen I've shared tons of hacks, tons of things to do. It may not help everyone. Okay. So everything is not guaranteed. Things change. People have different circumstances. People have different credit profiles. People have different negative derogatory items. People have new credit, old credit. It, everyone is different. So a credit repair company cannot guarantee you removal. So this is why I would not recommend a credit repair company. Now, most credit repair companies either charge a upfront fee or a monthly fee. Now, if you are going through the dispute process with the credit repair company, sometimes, you know, it may take six months to a year to get something removed. Now you're paying a monthly fee to get something removed. Now, mind you that because everything is not guaranteed the first time, sometimes you have to go rounds and rounds and months of disputing with the lender or the collector or the credit bureau trying to remove something off your credit to get it repaired. So this is why I don't recommend paying for a credit repair company because Everything is not guaranteed and it could be costly. And if you don't have the extra funds for this, this isn't the best bet. Number four, you're an adult and you need to learn how to build your own credit. I'm going to be straightforward with you all. Yes, credit building, credit repair, and learning how to build credit was something that was not taught to us in you know high school, primary school, middle school, elementary school. Yes, it's something that we as an adult have to deal with. And this is why I decided to do more credit repair videos and credit building. Now, if you do go to a credit repair company, they may can remove negative items off your credit. However, just because someone is repairing your credit, it does not mean that your credit won't go bad again. So in order for your credit to not go bad again, you need to learn how to build credit in the fundamentals of credit. This is education credit one-on-one -on -one that each adult should know and also your children. So with the help of the internet today, YouTube is a great resource. The internet is so amazing. So. As an adult, if you're watching this and you stay to this length of the video, thinking about repairing your credit with the credit repair company, first learn first. There are so many things that you may find that some credit repair companies don't know. And it's going to help you in the long run because if you get caught up in the jam, and let's be honest, if you have more knowledge, then you can fix those mistakes. So for example, if you forgot to pay your credit card bill by the end of the month or you went over utilization or you know you're trying to get a certain item and you need a certain credit score you now know how to do that on your own most credit repair companies sometimes don't offer the education behind it they just repair your credit and give you a credit score what if you mess up the next time you have to pay them again so an adult we need to educate ourselves so that we don't make the same mistakes over and over again and even i had to learn that myself so because my credit is like my report card right we have to treat it like this so this is another reason why i would not pay for a credit repair company is educate yourself first you may learn a lot more about building credit and this can help you in the long run number five and i touched on this on number four but if you repair your credit with the credit repair company your credit can still go bad 
it can still go bad because you don't have the knowledge of how to build your credit. Once your credit has the negative items off the credit report, you have no collections, you have no late payments, you have no inquiries. That does not mean go to the dealership and get a new car and allow them to run your credit 20 times. Your credit score is bad now. You know, that doesn't mean to buy five or 10 cars in the length of one year and you can't afford the car note. That doesn't mean going to buy a property and you can't afford the mortgage and now you're delinquent on your mortgage. So just because someone repairs your credit does not mean it can go bad again. So education is key first to repair your credit. Now, there are many ways to repair your credit. Like there is many ways to skin a cat. So this is just a video that I want to put out there because a lot of you want to know, should I pay for credit repair? And in my, again, humble opinion, learn about credit first. Learn what is a late payment. Learn how long a hard anchor you can stay on your credit report. Learn how long a collection stays on your credit report. Learn how long a late payment stays in your credit report. Learn about utilization. Learn about how if you miss your credit card statement date, learn how long will it take for that lender to report it as a late payment. There are tons of things that can save you from saving money and also repairing your credit yourself. Learn how to communicate with the credit bureaus. Learn about credit building tips. Learn about credit lenders. Learn about the lender. Learn what are the factors in your credit report because it is just not a credit score. There are tons of things that factor in your credit report to make up a credit score. Learn all about those things and you know, check out some of my videos. I have Navy Federal videos. I have credit building videos that I have thought would be very useful for you all. And again, there are other stuff on YouTube that you can search. So make sure you abuse that search bar because I do. And make sure you abuse that like button if you find this useful. So with that being said, let me know what you think about this video. Leave your feedback down below. I know some of you may have some crazy credit repair stories. So we want to hear. We want to hear. We want to hear and see people experiences. This is a learning experience for all of us. And you know, we're all new to this. So don't feel ashamed. I've been there. And you know, I'm here to help you guys. And also people in the comment section are also here to help. So. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below and make sure you again abuse that like button. And if you haven't, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey, have you heard about the charge off the collection express removal guide that I have available? A step by step guide to remove negative charge offs and collections from your credit report rapidly. These steps are easy and you don't need a credit repair company to do this. It's all step by step that you can do on your own. Check it out. It's 50% off right now. You don't want to miss out at designersobots.com or you can check the pinned comments or link in the description below to find that link. Make sure you check it out. It's 50% off right now, guys. Don't miss out. Hurry, hurry. Hi, everyone. This is Designer Soapbox. I just wanted to make this video to guys let you know that I am having a 50% off sale for 72 hours. Yes, a 50% off sale on the 24 hour express anchor removal guide and also the late payment removal guide. So just head down to the description or to the pinned comments and click the link and get your 50% off. Remember, this inquiry removal will help you remove hard inquiries from your credit report within 24 hours. And then the late payment guide will um, help you remove your late payments uh, very fast, super fast actually. Um, if you're tired of disputing your late payments waiting 30 to 45 days, this is a quicker method of getting these late payments removed. So if you guys enjoyed a lot of my content, I talk about this in my videos. However, I have this in an ebook. I'm doing 50% off for you guys. If you missed a 60% off sale, I'm doing one for 50% off. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for supporting. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye. One for 50% off.
So I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for supporting. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Don't forget to add me on OnlyFans where we discuss tips and hacks that we can't post on YouTube at OnlyFans.com forward slash designer soapbox.
Don't forget to add me on Instagram at Designer Soap Box. And don't forget to check out those ebooks that we got on sale, honey, at designersoapbox.com, where you will move your hard inquiries, late payments, collections, and more. So make sure you check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget, guys, I love you all. Bye.